pick it up anyway. It's that time of the year when someone you know is feeling sick, or perhaps it's you who's being a little under the weather. It seems like it's the season of fall sicknesses, but Alberta Health says it anticipates fall respiratory virus immunizations to be available in October. We still anticipate being on target for October 15th for uh, the flu um, and other vaccines, the respiratory vaccines to be in Alberta. And uh, we will be communicating more on that very, very soon. But can people wait that long? She's been off school all week, actually. I think it's best to keep them home when they're sick because it just make everybody else sick. I do appreciate it when people protect themselves. I'm pregnant right now, so it's nice just to know that, like, other people are being considerate. Alberta Health Services' current weekly activity for Alberta shows the percentage of tests positive for coronavirus is between 11.6 and 12 percent in the last month. There is an increased uptake in terms of uh, customers' phone calls, calling and inquiring about when they can get their flu and COVID shots or booster doses. Um, we're starting to book people in. Our calendars are filling up quickly. Alberta Minister of Health Adriana Lagrange also saying Wednesday the province is waiting on Health Canada to approve more vaccines. And as soon as that happens, she says the federal government and Health Canada will make those vaccines available to the public. In the meantime, you can protect yourself by... It will be recommended to wear a face mask and uh, exercise hand hygiene. For the normal healthy public, I would say stick to the basics. Hand hygiene is always one of the biggest keys that prevent you from catching other infections. Alberta Health say influence activity starts to rise in the fall and reaches its peak during the winter months. The seasonal flu shot can be important, especially for those with low immune system defenses. Uh, if I get the flu, basically I would be down for a couple weeks and then some. I've never in my life had a 24-hour flu. And even a cold now or sinus infection knocks me out for a good week. Alberta Health Services estimate that influenza causes about 12,200 hospitalizations each year and is among the top 10 leading causes of death in Canada. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.